I know that um, you are coming to the UK for the first time and you need to get accommodation, where to live and all of that. I know that this can be nerve-wracking and, you know, some, it's something that everybody worries about. This is why I have brought some of my friends to come and share their own testimonies on how they were able to get their accommodation on time. And in, like, of these three people, the latest that the person got accommodation was in two weeks. And of these three people as well, the, the third person literally just came into this country like a week ago and he has already landed accommodation so i have brought this tip for you guys so that you guys can see and hear and you know it's not just that i'm sharing tips you guys can hear people's testimony and then i hope this helps someone out there <music> Yeah, good evening. Um, so please, can you tell us um how long it took for you to get your accommodation when you first arrived in this country? Okay, my accommodation it took me uh, less than a week, right. less than one week to right. get my accommodation. Okay, thank you. And um, can you tell us what city you stay in the UK? I'm in London. Okay, thank you very much. So can you tell us tips that helped you land this accommodation as quick as possible? Yeah, the... I would say um, connection. Okay. Yeah, meeting people and saying what you want. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so um, did you use any of those apps? You know all those Zoopla, Rideshare and all of that. Did you use them? Yeah, for myself, personally, I, I use those apps, but I didn't get my commercial through those apps. Okay. Yeah, but I know people, a couple of friends that that use such apps and learn do something good. Okay. So when you when you say connection, what do you mean exactly? Yeah, apparently when I came to the UK, I, I, I stayed in an Airbnb. That's where I landed when I came. Yeah, so I paid for one week. Mm -hmm. While I was there, I was... I was making calls. Okay. Yeah, I had some people in the UK. And I made calls, asked questions, walked around, mm -hmm. like screamed. I needed accommodation, and I was able to get few recommendations, and I landed where I am now. Okay. You see, within the space of that one week. Right, and yes. you still live there right now. Yeah, I'm still there. Okay, and did you have to do any of the guarantor or references kind of thing? No, one thing, one thing about a uh, recommendation is, it, I think it takes those um, things out from you. Okay. Like those parental, those stuffs will, they will not, they will not uh, ask all those things. I didn't do all those things anyway. Okay, thank you. And then what would be your final tip for someone coming and hoping to land accommodation real soon? Yeah, even away from accommodation in this UK, you need to ask questions. You don't keep it to yourself. Okay. Like when I came, I asked, uh, I paid for one week. Mm -hmm. After the first second days, I realized that I have not gotten accommodation. I was doing it on my own, doing it online. Mm -hmm. I had to ask questions. I had to scream like I needed accommodation. I walked around, met people, and I was able to get someone that could recommend me to the landlord, my landlord, my current landlord now. Right. Okay. Yeah, and that's how I landed my accommodation. Okay. So Thank to ask questions, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for the tip. You know, it's very precise and it's going to be very helpful. And um, speak to you later, yeah? Thank you very much. Uh, I can add also. Okay. Yeah. yeah, there are some offline stores, offline stores around the UK. I mm -hmm. think we have them in London. I think they, they should be in other, other cities. cities too. Yeah. Yeah, you have offline stores, you have African stores, you go there, you ask them, I need accommodation, you know, there are people that would have maybe three bedroom flat, three bedroom flat, and meeting, meeting people um, into their flat. Right. So, they will put up such um, advertisement there, such vacancies there. Okay. So, you see them, and you call them, and you can get something from them. Many okay. Of, many of my friends got their commission. Okay. You that mean? Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. That's really helpful. And, um... We hope to see you again on this channel. All right, thank All right, you. Then. Bye. Do me how that be? I beg, no, they want me. <laughs> now YouTube with day. Come and show me the way. Please, dear. How far you day? I day. I day right. Right. Um, can I ask you a few questions, please? Okay. Yeah. Um, can you tell us um how long it took you to get your accommodation when you landed in the UK? Uh, for me.
it just took me two weeks. I right. just I I just looked for and I saw okay. and I liked it and it was affordable. It was close to the city center. It was close to the bus station. It was, it's close to the train station. It's just everything and it was the right price, the right accommodation right. for me. Right. Um. Can you tell us the city you live in? I stay in Derby. Okay. Um. Thank you. So, can I ask you, how did you land this accommodation? Did you use any of those, um, you know, Zupla, room share, and all of that, or is it by connection? Or how did you land this accommodation actually? Um. So I think it was on. I saw something close to it. As at the time I started looking for mm -hmm. on um, what's it called? On spare? Was it spare room? Okay. But the, it was an agency that um, posted it. Was it. An agency that posted it. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to them. The one I was looking out for, I wanted um, a self. So when I reached out to them, they mm. said that it wasn't available, and they asked what my budget was. I told right. them, right. and they said, okay, if they had something around my budget that they were gonna call me. Okay. Then behold, I received a call like one week later, and they say, oh, that they have something on the same street where I saw the other first apartment that right. is available now and is right on my budget mm -hmm. and everything. I'm like, can I see? Then they, you know, they will have to do the security check for mm. my guarantor. Right. So after my guarantor security check went through, they asked me to pay. Um. So then they allowed me to come and view the place. Okay. At that point, I've stayed in the hotel. I'm staying. I was staying with someone. Mm -hmm. and at that point, the people said they had somebody else. I was also coming to stay, so I just really needed to leave. Yeah. My next option was for me to move back to the hotel because I stayed in the hotel for like three days okay. before moving to their house. So okay. I just saw the place and spacious, big. Is my room is large. My right. room is large. I think I so, see it on Instagram. I see your yeah. your news, so I can tell that it's actually large you know and uh, really big okay. so i just saw it i just said that i want this and i just went through with the payment okay. i got the keys like one week after okay okay that's really good so for someone new in the uk how did you manage this guarantor issue because i know you meant you mentioned um you know you using a guarantor how did you manage that um for me because i have couple of friends and family around so right. it was easy. quite easy for me mm. but i know my other friends that didn't have um guarantor they mm. had to make them pay six months up front wow which is ridiculous mm -hmm. so, i've always heard of I, three months but this six months is wow yeah <laughs> they told them to pay some um there's this nigerian guy that stays like three blocks away from my mm. work in the city and he told me they asked him to pay six months up front and his own rent is not even bills inclusive oh my god my rent is bills inclusive right right yeah okay so um i'm glad that i actually called you because the first person i spoke to didn't have to use all of this in your spare room and the likes so um what final tip would you give to someone um coming to the uk and you know hoping to actually land their accommodation on time too <clears throat> Coming to the UK to get an accommodation on time, I think it depends on the time you're coming in. Mm -hmm. So what I noticed in Derby in September, you can you get a lot of accommodations available. Right. But if you're coming in in January intake, you have less accommodation because people that came in in September they are Took already occupying. Up. Right. By September, by the next year September, some people are rounding off their courses. They are either moving, moving out. out to another city. Right. So in sept if you look at it in September, mm. September is like the good time where you might be able to get a good accommodation. Okay. Then I know it's hard you moving to a different country, you don't have anybody. Right. Um, just look for way, even even if it's for you to go as far as going to talk to your lecturers in school. Mm -hmm. I know of somebody that's one of my lecturer students as guarantor right. for the guy to get an apartment. Right. So you that's just interesting. You just have to use all that. There's all that resources. School can you just have to look for a way just to I ask the guy, Oh, how do how are you able to come about school giving you standing in a guarantor mm -hmm. for your apartment? 
He said he told him that if he doesn't pay for this place, that he will sleep in your school. <laughs> <laughs> You need to have good credit score and stuff like that. Yes. Right. I know of somebody that a guarantor. She she gave she provided four guarantors and they bounce her four guarantors. So I don't know why. <laughs> That's serious. But yeah. Anyways, so, thank you very much for the tips. Um yeah, this is really helpful and we appreciate you coming to our channel. And we hope to see you again sometime. Hopefully. All right thank then. You for Speak me. to you later. Bye. Bye. So can you tell us what city you stay in and how long it took you to get your accommodation when you landed in the UK? Okay, um, I stay in Bolton, Greater Manchester. And um, so far, I'm still squatting at the moment, but it took me like um, roughly two weeks to get an apartment and make payment. I still have one extra week to wait before I finally move into the apartment. Right. Um, can you tell us the challenges that you face um, while trying to get this ap apartment? Okay, um, there are so many challenges we face while trying to get an apartment. Like, what, for instance, sending mails. Usually we think that sending mails or applying online mm. pass through all these um, students' websites for accommodation mm. are, easy, are quite difficult because when you send them mails, they don't usually respond as quick as we expect them to respond mm -hmm. sometimes you call them they don't give you positive feedbacks and stuff like that sometimes they don't even bother to reason you at all so mm -hmm. in my own instance after waiting for like a week i had to go directly to their office and make the inquiries and i got the feedback almost mm -hmm. immediately right so basically um it's better to just go in person if you know where their office is exactly that's the best thing just right. and once you're, once you're searching online and you see an apartment you like, you can just um, pick out the office the, address or something like that. The, okay. The agent address and get across to them. Okay. And did you have to deal with Garanto? Uh, yes, I have to deal with Garanto. It's, it's almost compulsory to deal with Garanto in the same, this um, by securing accommodations in the UK. Okay. And um, how did you go about that? Um, uh, Garanto, uh, there, there are two options. Either you use somebody that can vouch for you, a family member or a friend. Mm -hmm. Or you use them, um, there's a guarantor scheme where you um, you have to pay mm. and do like a like an insurance for you something. It's a feature, but it's not so much. Okay. And you but don't know how much it is? No, 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 I don't know how much it is. The first one is usually the best option. Okay. And I think for a guarantor, one guarantor can guarantee two persons okay so if you go as a click you can you can work like that okay so um what's the final tip you would actually give someone coming and you know hoping to land accommod accommodation soon oh there are two there are two ways to this accommodation thing in the uk mm. for, for singles and for married people mm -hmm. for singles look for a friend that you can chill with for a while at mm. least one week Airbnb is not the way forward, but if you don't have option, <laughs> yeah. then you can go for that one. Mm -hmm. But it's better to look for friends that you can squat with because it's expensive using Airbnb or hotel mm -hmm. accommodations like that. Then for married people, those ones that have plenty of family, mm -hmm. there are two options. One, leave your family in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Come down yourself. The main applicant should travel down mm. and find a way to hang around, spot around. Mm. Then maybe like a month after after settling, then the family can come. Okay. Or the second option is they put their family with the family friend in the UK, somewhere in the UK. Mm. If you have a family friend, like if you are coming to Manchester, you have a family friend in um, London. Let mm. them stay in London until you find something. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, like that so that's my own advice okay thank you very much mr man and we hope to see you on this channel again oh see no if you're not seeing me you're just hearing my voice my friend bye
So from all the um, testimonies that my friends have shared, um, I, I have some things that I want to point out, right? And this is going to be that, you know, you need to speak out. This is one thing that is very important in this country. You cannot be a one-man mopo. You need to speak, you know, make sure that you speak to people, say what you want. Then you need to, of course, it's the same thing, network, speak, and all of that. Then if online is not working for you, please, if there's an address there, please go to that address, you know. If you're looking for something, the kingdom of God suffering violence, that kind of thing. So please apply pressure. And, you know, um, if you have somebody and um, if you don't have somebody that can do guarantor for you, there is a guarantor scheme, like my friend said, and you might just have to pay a fee. So I think um, these are the tips that I want to share, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.